Hi everyone, it's Bethany, and in this fun tutorial I'm going to show you how you can make some coffee mugs with some patterned vinyl and some solid colors as well. So I'm really, really excited to do this project because I'm making these for our pediatrician and our nurse. I decided it would be really fun to make one for them because they've been taking care of our children since they were brand new little babies and I wanted to do something just to show our medical workers how much we appreciate them right now and how hard they're working and how much we really, really appreciate all that they are doing to keep us all healthy and safe during this time. So I thought that these little mugs would be super fun and I really am excited to work with this really pretty um, pattern that I showed you guys in a few videos back. I did um, a unboxing of a lot of adhesive vinyl and HTV vinyl that I got for um, spring and summer and one of them I got was this really neat medical pattern. It's so cool. It has little medicine bottles and band-aids and little hearts on it and it's so sweet. So I knew exactly what I wanted to do with this and I am excited to show you what I'm going to um, have in mind. So it'll be really fun. So if you have any medical workers that you really um, want to say thank you to, then please be sure to consider this project because I think it's going to be really, really fun and I think that they'll really like it. So um, we are going to need some coffee cups. I, for this project, would recommend something that has a little bit more length and I will go ahead and link these. I got um, this set um, on Amazon so they came together. Um, so these are really awesome. In fact, when I unboxed them, I was so impressed. Um, they're really, really nice, and I'm definitely going to have to order some more for our house because they are super, super nice. So I'm going to um, just recommend that you get something with a little bit of length on it just for this particular design. Um, so if you're going to replicate this, then something a little taller is going to be helpful. You're going to need some vinyl. So again, I'm going to use this patterned vinyl. I'll link it below. And then I'm going to also use a couple different colors. So I pulled a different couple uh, colors out of this pattern. Um, so I'm going to do more of a a teal color and then I'm going to do a darker red. I think those are going to look really, really neat um, with this pattern and pull some fun colors out of there. Um, I believe this is Cricut Permanent and then this is Paper Studio Permanent that I had had. Okay, um, we're also going to need a weeding tool, some scissors, and we're going to need a scraper or a squeegee. And then we're going to measure our coffee cup space with our measuring tape. We're going to do all of this on the Joy today. So we're going to grab our little mat because that is how you can place non-smart smart materials through your machine to still use them. You can do this on any cutting machine. Um, so you can do this on the Explore Air 2. You can do this on the Maker. So if you have those machines handy, then you can do this project with that as well. And then we're also going to be using some new transfer tape today. Um, I'm going to show you guys this. I, um, I'm liking it so far. Far. I got this as a part of my little haul when I got all my patterned vinyl. I wanted to try out a transfer tape that was going to be clear and had grid lines, so I picked this up and I'll show you guys um, a little bit more of this today because I do like it. I've done a project with it um, so far and I thought it worked really good, so I'll show you guys in the video. I think that's it besides measuring our space and then always utilize that description box below and you will see all of the materials that I have used in this project. So let's say about three by three in our design. So I think that'll look really good. Okay, so I think that's it. Let's pop into design space and I will show you how I'm going to create this little design. It's really cute. Um, and then we're going to use all of this vinyl to cut it out and put it on our mugs. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the images box right over here and I am going to search, I searched for doctor um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this cute little stethoscope right here that has a little heart in it. Isn't that cute? And so I'm going to go ahead and insert my images and I'm going to bring that over here. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a little monogram on this and then write the word doctor or nurse correspondingly on the appropriate mug. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to the text box and I'm going to use a text called Kate's ABC's baby girl it's one of my favorites and I'm going to click that and the first initial I'm going to do is S and what I'll do is I'll just bring that right in here 
And I want the monogram to be, let me size this down just a little bit. I'm gonna unlock this because I like the length of it. Let's see, hold on. Let me size this. Get this a little bit bigger, okay. Um, I'm gonna go right about, kinda want that to be almost a three by three. Okay, that's about good. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to place the little initial inside and I'm gonna make that initial about 1.3. I think that's about good. If I can make it a little bigger, I, okay, one and a half. Okay, I just want enough of um, a substantial amount of room on here because this is going to be cut out of that pattern vinyl. So I wanna have enough space to where that pattern is gonna really be able to be appreciated. So I'm also going to be using, if you see over here, there's a double layer on this font. I'm gonna click that on because I'm gonna be using this second layer and I'm gonna use that as that green color underneath. I think that'll look really neat. Okay, so I'm gonna do that and then I'm going to um, make this entire image, um, I want this entire image to be this maroon burgundy color. So I am going to go ahead and weld that together. Okay, so what that's gonna do is that is going to make this entire stethoscope cut out of that pretty red color. Okay, and so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my text and I am going to type out the word doctor with that same font, Kate's ABCs. This time though, I'm not going to use the double um, font on this. I'm just going to use the one. So I'm going to delete this second layer. So I'm going to go ahead and make this quite a bit smaller. And then I am going to place it right up here. And I'm going to grab this curve button and I'm going to just start curving. Just like that. Okay. Looks great. And I'm just going to kind of, whoops, rotate it how I want it to be. Oops. And to me, that looks really good. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this whole thing and I'm going to duplicate it because I'm making a second one. And then I'm gonna bring it over here and I'm just gonna change a couple things about it. So I am going to change this to nurse. Okay, and then I'm going to change this, if I can grab this little S here. I'm going to change, whoop, sometimes that is so tricky. Is it just me? Can you grab that other one? I'll just drag this down for a second. I'm gonna change this to an N, okay. So again, I'm just using their initials, and I think that still fits pretty good. That one might have to be just a tad smaller. Okay. So you'll just kind of play around with it until you like how it looks. And there we go. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I am going to cut the words doctor and nurse out of that really nice um, red color as well. So what I can do here is I can grab the stethoscope and the word doctor. After, I wanna make sure everything is perfect though because I'm gonna weld this next so they cut just perfectly together. So let me play around with this nurse one just a little bit. I might, let's see, okay. Okay, I think I like that. Um, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to, let's do this a little wider. Sorry, I'm indecisive because I want these to be perfect. And I just feel like this one's just a tad crowded. There we go. And you wanna be certain before this next step that you have everything exactly how you want it. Okay, I like it. 
what I'm going to do here is I am going to double check my size. So I'm going to grab this whole thing. I'm at 3 by 3. Well, 3.1 by 3.1. That's perfect. And then this is going to be 3.2 by 3.1. Perfect. Okay. So I remember that I wanted to stay around 3 by 3, but that width was okay, kind of going to about 3 and a quarter. So that's great. Okay. So now the doctor and the stethoscope are going to cut out together. So I can go ahead and click, let's see, I'm gonna double, um, I'm gonna select both of them, the doctor and the stethoscope. I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna click weld. So now this is one piece. It's gonna cut exactly like that. So that's really helpful because then it's gonna lay down together. We've already have it all laid out in design space how we want it. So now we can just have it cut perfectly like that. Okay, I'm gonna do the same with the nurse. So grabbing nurse, grabbing the nurse stethoscope, and I'm going to come down here and click weld. Okay, and again, this is now all one file. So now what I can do is I can get everything all ready to be cut. So I'm going to come up here, I'm going to click Cricut Joy, and then I'm going to click Make It. So now everything I'm going to, oh, I'm going to tell it that I'm going to do with um, on a mat because it says we can do any material. So doing on the mat is going to allow me to use non-Cricut materials and it's also going to allow me to use full size materials. So I'm going to go ahead and click on mat, click done, and then it's going to separate everything by mat. So I can kind of go in there and just kind of edit things. So I like to pull mine apart a little bit. So this is going to be on that teal color. And this is going to be on that really pretty pattern. And then we're gonna have, I guess these can't be on the same one. That's okay. We're gonna feed two sheets of the um, red in. I don't think it's gonna allow me to move this. Must have been too just too big. That's okay. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and cut these on separate mats as well. Okay, so we are all set. We can go ahead and click continue. And then it's going to locate our joy, and then we're going to select our cutting material. So we're going to browse materials. Actually, we can probably just go to popular. Is it in there? It looks like it's all this smart stuff. So we're going to browse materials and just go to vinyl. And then we are going to choose, let's see, I think we're just going to choose premium vinyl as our setting. So this is going to cut all of our um sheets all of our different colors and then we can click done and now we are going to load our vinyl on our mats accordingly so we are just going to follow these um, this order right here so the first thing it's going to call for is the mint color or the green color that we're using the patterns next and then that red color next so we will go ahead and um, get everything loaded and get cut Okay, so what I did was I went ahead and I just cut down all of my materials to size with my um, little paper trimmer. And I love this because it really helps when sizing some materials for the joy. Um, and it's just really helpful to have. So I recommend if you don't have one to grab one. Um, so now what we're going to do is just take this little protective film off of our mat. And it's calling for this teal material first. So we're going to go ahead and just place that right on the mat. And press it down a little bit make sure it's all there and then I have all my other little pieces all ready to go so now we'll just load this first we're just gonna press it against the wheels lightly it pulls it in and out to make sure the mats aligned and then we can press go on our computer and it will get cutting so this is gonna be that really pretty outline um, for the initial and the reason I did that was because the initials are gonna be printed out of this really neat pattern and I thought it would be nice to have like a bold um, outline around it just to really make it pop so this is gonna be on um, the initial so I thought just a little bit of border around it would really really be nice Okay, so that one is already done. That looks really great. So I'm going to click unload. Looks perfect. And I can just go ahead and remove it and set it aside. The next one is this um, pattern. So when you're working with pattern, you want to make sure that if your pattern is directional, which mine is, there is a definitive top and bottom. 
the um, band-aids and the little, um, let's see, there's like a little microscope. All those things are directional, so they are have an up and a down. So you wanna make sure that you're placing it on the mat um, appropriately because if you are doing a, you know, a monogram or whatever you're cutting out, you wanna make sure that it's cutting in the right direction so that when you cut it out, your letter has all of the little patterns going the right way. Now, not all patterns are directional. Some of them are, um, you know, just abstract and you can do them however you want. But um, if it is directional, you just wanna make sure that you have it on your mat appropriately. Okay, so again, we are doing, it looks like I need to reselect my material here. So I'll just do premium vinyl again. Okay, and then we can go ahead and load and this will start cutting. Okay, so unload and that looks so cute. Oh my goodness. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we will add one of our sheets of red. And again, we're going to do this twice because it's just not quite big enough to fit two on one mat. Okay, again, press it down a little bit. and load. So it's having me do that vinyl selection each and every time. I did just do an update on Design Space. I wonder if that is part of the update. Okay, so go ahead and let that load. Okay, so while that is cutting, what we're gonna do is we're gonna just take a little bit of rubbing alcohol and a little cotton swab. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna um, prep the coffee cups. So. I'm going to have the handle on the right side. So I'm going to just prep this entire front. Just like this. And this is just going to remove anything that's unwanted on the front of the mug so that the vinyl will stick really, really nice to a very clean surface. So it removes anything like um, oils from your hands when you were handling the mug or any um, dirt that got on it during shipping, anything like that. Okay. These mugs are really nice, you guys, honestly. Even my husband commented um, that we should get some for us when he saw me take these out of the box. So maybe I'll do something for us coming up. Okay. So I'm just going to set this aside and then we are going to unload. That was really quick. Really cool, really, really quick. Okay, so that first one is done. Looks really, really nice. And then this final piece. Okay, so now I'm gonna weed my designs here. And before I do that, I have a lot of um, middle area in here that I am going to cut out with my true control knife just to save that some of that vinyl that there's a lot in there and honestly with Christmas projects and this color being a really prominent color during Christmas time, you never know what you can use with this piece. And that's, that's a pretty big piece. So I'm going to save it. If I eventually don't use it, then I don't use it, but I have the option. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same with this as well. And just kind of cut out that little... And then I can go ahead and just start weeding. So I'm going to start with this one. I'm going to just go ahead and turn it over and really press down. This one has the little um, doctor and nurse letters on it as well. So I just want to make sure. Plus that stethoscope um, has a couple intricate pieces. So just want to make sure that everything is all where it needs to be before I start weeding. So I'm just going to grab a corner and go really slow. I love this color. I think it's gonna look really neat, not only with the pattern, which is super neat, but with, um, against that white mug, I think it's gonna be really nice. Okay, so just taking my time here because some of those pieces are a little intricate. And I'm gonna go through, let's see, I think the middle of the heart needs to come out. You guys, I bent my weeding tool which is really funny because the other day I was um, thinking that they just looked so good. So I was 
um, surprised that it had happened. And if you guys remember in my bundle, um, I got a, uh, in my new Explore Air 2 bundle, I got an additional tool set. So I was super excited about that because, um, now I have a backup set. Have you guys ever bent a weeding tool? Let me know. Um, I almost feel like I'm a, maybe I'm, am I a legit crafter now? <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of crazy. I kind of feel like I've reached a certain level of crafting if I have bent my weeding tool. Um, okay, so there we go. That first one is done. Okay, and now I'm going to weed the second little one. Oops, I didn't um, press that down with my scraper tool, but it looks like it's coming up just fine. So, and everything else is staying put. So no worries. Okay, and then again, just getting the little middles of the designs. And it looks like we have one little middle in our letters here, this little E. Okay. And the middle of our stethoscope part. Oh, it's so cute. I love this little look. It's so pretty. Okay, and then our little pattern here. Let's see how this turned out. Oh, it turned out really cute. How sweet. I love it. Okay, and then our little teal piece. Okay, so now we have everything all weeded. Everything looks great. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut apart these pieces here. Okay, so now we're ready to put them on the mug. So I'm gonna grab this big piece of transfer tape and I am just going to kind of measure so I can cut these down to size. So it looks like I'm at about three by three and a half here. So I'll just cut some of this off. And the grid lines are gonna really come in handy as well as the clear, um, the element that is clear is going to be really, really helpful. So what I'm going to do is just kind of pierce a corner here and lift up a side just like that. Okay. And then we can go ahead and do the nurse one first since it's right here. I just try to lay that as straight as I can. Perfect. And I grab my little scraper tool and I'm going to press down just helping the vinyl meet that, um, transfer tape really well. Okay. Looks really good. And I'm going to flip it over and do the same thing. Oops. Make sure it's all really set up there. Okay. And then while it's flipped on this side, I'm just going to, at an angle, start peeling away that carrier sheet that the vinyl cut on. And if you need any help with any of the pieces, just grab your weeding tool to help any pieces nudge along if you need it. But it's coming off really nice. Okay, there's that first piece. So now we can go ahead and get it on our little cup here. So what I'll do is I'll just bring one of the cups down. And this is a fairly flat surface, so I think I'm okay. But what I'll do just in case is I'm going to put little um, slit marks, little cut lines in, in and around my um, transfer tape here because it just helps the transfer tape be a little bit more flexible when going down on a curved surface. But like I said, these, these are very, um, flat in nature. So I think we're going to be okay, but just to be safe, don't want to mess anything up. So just be careful not to cut your vinyl. Okay. So what I'm going to do, is I'm going to grab my little computer mouse and stick it under there. 
just to wedge it. And so I'm just going to gently lay that down. And I'm going to kind of just start rubbing from the middle out. Oh good, it's looking really good. I think the slip marks, even though it's pretty, it's pretty uh, flat, that those, those little marks are actually, those little cuts are actually really helping a little bit. Get some of those pieces down really good. And this just helps so that you, when you are laying those pieces down, that they are laying down without any bubbles underneath. Just lays down flat. So it just helps that transfer tape be a little bit more um, flexible. And it doesn't, it doesn't stay as rigid and straight. It helps it kind of curve. Okay, so just taking this scraper or squeegee and just really now getting it down after that first initial kind of just rub. Um, this is just going to really get it down. It looks really good though. I'm excited to peel off the transfer tape. Okay. So now I'm just going to start peeling away. Now since there's little cuts in it, it might want to come off in pieces and that's okay. But if not, it's pretty durable though, so it might actually wants to come off together. Okay. Oh, that looks really nice. Oh, cute! How cute is that? I love it. So cute. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on the little initial part. So this one has the N. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to reuse this at least one more time. So I'm just going to cut around the edges where those little cut lines are just because I don't need that much tape anyway. And second of all, just to kind of clean it up a little bit. Okay, so there we go. I'm going to do the teal part first because that is the shadow or the outline. So that'll go down first. And there we go. Comes right off. And then I'll just kind of center this where I want it. Bring it a little closer to me. If you see any little bubbles in your vinyl, you can just kind of squeeze them out by pushing them towards the edge of the vinyl. Okay, and then I'm just going to get that as centered as I can where I wanted it. Okay, looks good. Okay, so I'm going to rub that down. And then peel it up. And then I can reuse again. So let's see if we can just reuse this over and over. Um, I'm just gonna I'm gonna do a piece for each mug. So I'm just gonna grab this final little pattern, and this will go right over the teal end. comes off easy. Okay, I'm really impressed with this transfer tape. Really impressed. Okay, so then this part is going to be, I'm going to make this as small as I can, taking away any extras. This is, is the part where I'm going to really line up over that teal. I have to get my line up just perfect here. So, going to kind of start in a corner and then lay it right down just like that okay and now my scraper tool
and peel it up. And that leaves the vinyl right on the spot there. How cute is that? Oh, I love the outline of it. I think that looks really awesome. Those are cute. Okay, let me go ahead and start on the second one and you guys can see me do it one more time. Sometimes seeing it again um, just kind of helps with the repetition. It helps me when I'm learning too. So, um, so we'll set this one aside and do the other one. Okay, so grabbing some more of that transfer tape. So I used like a three inch by three and a half inch little cut here and then I used the same transfer tape for the entire design on the mug so I reused it three times but I want to make sure I grab another piece for my next set just because the other one I kind of kept cutting down so um so that's perfect so it's it was really um user friendly in materials because you didn't have to use a ton of transfer tape you always just want to monitor your transfer tape and see if, you know, it's running out of stick. But as long as it's still sticky um, and you feel comfortable with it, then go ahead and reuse it. It's a wonderful way to cut, cut down on material costs. Okay, so I'm going to do the second one. Whoops. Let's see here. I'll link this transfer tape down below. So this is brand new to me. I, um... Again, I purchased it because I wanted a clear option because you guys know, if you guys watch um, a few of my tutorials, you know I love the masking transfer tape, but the only thing about it is it's not completely clear. You can still see through it a little bit, but um, the other one is not completely clear and sometimes you just need a little bit more um, control over it. So this clear plus the grid lines is really helpful for certain projects and this project is one of them. Okay, so now again, I'm just going to do the back, make sure everything is where it needs to be. And then I can go ahead and start peeling away. And that just sticks so well to that transfer tape. Those are coming up so easily. Very, very happy with this. All right. So now again, that we're going to take that step of adding the little cut lines. Even though this is a fairly straight coffee mug um, and not as curvy as some you will find, I did find with the first one that it was very helpful to do this. So we'll do it again. And again, it makes the transfer tape go from wanting to act like a square to um, being a little bit more flexible once laying it down. So that is really nice. Okay, so using our little mouse here as a wedge again. Okay, and just kind of let that middle part go down first. And then I kind of just go towards the sides with my finger and go really slow and just make sure everything is laying down where it needs to. And if the um, transfer tape starts kind of you know, bubbling up or anything, that's okay. As long as your vinyl isn't bubbling up, allow the transfer tape to take all of that. Okay. Make sure it's all laying down. And one thing about these little cut things, cut uh, lines, is that it allows you to pick up little pieces of it and manipulate instead of picking up the whole design. And that looks really good, I think. Okay. I'm going to grab my little scraper tool and just really go firm on that. I also did a video um, with the Cricut Joy on how to make really nice little cards for essential workers, so I'll link it as well. Um, up in the corner here because if you have some time it's just nice to make little thoughtful um, cards or anything for the essential workers who are working so hard right now but I love how those cards turned out they are so neat so be sure to go check them out they're awesome plus you get to do some crafting and you get to brighten someone's day okay there we go. Coming right off. And I still have plenty of usable 
transfer tape to do the rest. Okay, there's that one. How sweet. I'm really excited about how these are turning out. Really, really cute. Okay, so again, I'm just going to trim down. That one kind of um, ripped a little bit more than the other one did, which is fine. Which is totally fine. Okay, so again, the teal outline is going to be first. Just like that. And that just transfers over so beautifully. Okay, so let's see here. Turn it over just a little more. Perfect. There we go. Really scrape it down and then peel up and reuse this transfer tape one last time. Okay. So this is a really fun way to work with patterned vinyl. Again, you want to make sure you choose a font that is going to be substantial enough to really appreciate the um, pattern. So you don't want to go with anything too skinny. Try to do something a little bit more bold and um, you know, it has a lot of surface area so that you can see that pattern coming through. That'll be really helpful. Okay. And then again, I'm just going to trim down my transfer tape for this last little piece. Less is definitely more here. And then I'm just going to line it up. This might be a little trickier. I kind of found it helpful just to kind of do one little end. Just like that. Yep. Works like a charm. So I found it helpful just to kind of line up one end and then let it, let it just lay down. So just Go slow with that step and do the best you can. Okay. I think the, the outline on this S and this N with the little teal behind it, even though the teal kind of takes a little step back because um, we cover most of it, it still plays a really pretty role in helping that initial just really pop on the mug. I think that is really pretty. I'm really excited how these turned out and I know they're going to love these. So I'm saving these for our next trip to the pediatrician, which isn't for another at least month, but I wanted to have them ready just so they are ready to go for um, seeing them again. And I think these turned out really cute. Okay. All right, that's how they turned out. I'm really happy with them. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I think that that pattern vinyl looks amazing um, and so fun. I'm trying to think of other things to do with that print right now, especially for doctors right now who are working so hard. So um, this is awesome. I'm really excited how they turned out and I love that little stethoscope. How cute is that? And we did all of this on the Joy. So just remember, if you have some materials that are not smart materials or you have smart materials that are small, um, be sure to grab that mat and just put them right through because you can still do a lot of wonderful things with the materials that are bigger um, as well so I'm excited how these are so now with the um, for care instructions what I am going to do is before you use these um, I'd recommend you leave them setting um, setting up for a couple days so just set these aside for at least a couple days um, to make sure that it the vinyl has time to really cure and settle up. So I would do that and then um, hand wash only, avoid the dishwasher and avoid the microwave. Those are some things that will help just with the longevity of the vinyl. And I always tell, um, I always make these just for personal use or for um, friends. So, um, but I always just tell them that when I give them um, their little gift as well, just because you want them to enjoy it for a long time. So, um, those are just some tips to help do that as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you found this fun and you're excited, um, and you 
want to make some little fun gifts for doctors as well, be sure to give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing because we are going to be doing some really fun things um, on the channel. We're always having fun here. So um, be sure to subscribe and stick around so you know what's coming to the craft table next. And let me know what you guys are doing. What are you crafting? And let me know what you guys thought of this little project. I'm really in love with it. I keep looking at them. They're so sweet. I'm trying to think of other um, doctors that I can make these for. So, so fun. All right, everyone. I hope you have a wonderful week and I can't wait to hear from you in the comments section. See you in the next video.